Okay, it's June 15th, 2011. Probably the last year we're going to live. <laughs> but anyways, I made this little rocket stove. And you're not supposed to make it out of galvanized material, so I'm just going to die pretty soon. Because of toxic fumes, but... I just like that idea. It's got a handle and everything. Let's see if I can go get it. Oh, I got it. I got the lid flipped over and the hole drilled through it. And it's already stuffed full of sticks, so. Okay, so let's just light this thing on fire and see what happens. It'll probably buckle. I don't have any any type of insulation in there uh, so I'm gonna see what happens if it melts down I don't even care we'll just try it see what goes on you know and then if it's terrible we'll warn others <laughs> why are these French Oh yeah, the flame's coming right up. That flame's about two feet high right now. <laughs> I'm not even getting it all in there. <laughs> oh Jesus. I'm just checking really to see if the pipes fall through because all I did was drill a hole. You know, it's not really screwed in there or anything. So it's just a snug fit, very snug. It's a four inch pipe with four inch hole saw. Couldn't get any tighter fit. I really had to work it in there. So I wanna see if uh, the metal expands and it just falls apart or what. Pretty good, but I think we need cast iron or something. Is the can real hot? Yeah, it's pretty hot. I couldn't tell you how hot. Touch it. Probably fry an egg on it. That's what's going on. There's the ash pile. It falls down below here. I've got a big bean can. I opened up on both ends and flattened it a little bit. Fits in there good. I saw somebody else do that, so I did it. I like that. So the air shoots in down below and you can jam this part full of material. And see if I can get in there. This is a nasty old pile. We just put it on the wood stove to give us some, whoop, just to give us some moisture in the winter time. It's really dry. And the stove pipe is just, uh, 
it's probably maybe an inch below the pot. Like I said, I put the lid upside down. If it's, if it's in there good, and you can lift the handle up. Still lift the handle up and carry it around, so that's cool. <laughs> Excuse me. So I don't know if this stuff is gonna burn off the outside or maybe not. It's pretty hot, but it's not like melting hot. Oh, you can hear it make a noise. Probably cooling off. I gotta stoke it again. So this would be something cool to cook with if you had to. You just get sticks. That's all you need. Take like a three foot section of four inch stove pipe. And cut it in two, at the very least. I cut like a nine inch section out. And I put a 90 degree fitting in there. 90 degree bend inside. If I pop this apart later, I'll show you, but you can check out any rocket stove video and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so what we have at the house is we have a gas oven and stove. So, with a, I don't know, 20 gallon tank. Not very big. It's not going to last long and I don't know how full it is. So, power goes out. If it went out for good, we have other stuff around. We got a Coleman stove we can cook with for as long as the Coleman fuel lasts. You know what I mean? So as long as that all of our little other items last, sure we can cook. But then when that runs out, then what? I don't know. So I whip this up. I don't know if I can use my drill when there's no power. I do have an inverter that I can plug into my car. <laughs> you know. But how long does all that last? So I thought I'd throw this together beforehand and at least test it out. And it works fine, so that's cool. But maybe there's modifications I can make to it. So Personally, I think I actually I bought everything twice except for the can, so that I could make another one if I had to. I also bought a couple of kerosene cans, uh, five gallon I guess it is, cans of kerosene. So once those are empty and used up, I could make a stove out of that. If I had to, that's why I bought those. Dual, dual purpose. Handy dandy roll carrier. Oh, look, that works good. Okay, so that was a really snug fit. And it didn't, doesn't look like it moved at all. If anything, it probably got tighter. I suppose you can cook as long as you want in the uh Ashes would just dump out here. I think what they do is they fill what they do is they fill around on the inside, they fill around there with ashes to insulate the outside from from the flame, from the heat. So you could, I don't know, touch that or whatever. But if you want it to radiate heat, then I don't know, you wouldn't want to do that. That's, I don't know how hot that would be, 200 degrees? So I say fill it with sand and when you're done cooking on it, bring it into your tent. <laughs> 
eat your tent the rest of the night. All right, well, I'm gonna go eat. I just dumped that water out. Mama's watching it trickle down the driveway. Coming in. Okay, good day. <laughs>